These stunning pictures are from the prize-winning 2008 movie Chasing Ice, in a part of the world where the global warming gives visual proof of the changes in nature. The Duracet Ice Fjord is located on the west coast of Greenland, 250 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. Greenland's Ilulisat Ice Fjord is the seamouth of the Sermagulia Lake, one of few glaciers through which the Greenland ice cap reaches the sea from in here and outside to the sea. The glacier is called Sermagulia Lake and is moving between 20 and 40 meters per day, which then is one of the fastest and most active glaciers in the world. It annually carves about 40 cubic kilometers of ice, which is 10% of the production of all Greenland calf ice, and more than any other glacier outside Antarctica. Studied for over 250 years, it has helped to develop our understanding of the climate change and ice cap glaciology. The combination of a huge ice sheet and the dramatic sounds of a fast moving glacial ice stream carving into a fjord covered by iceberg makes for a dramatic and awe-inspiring natural phenomenon. But the ice fjord is threatened by the warming world these years. The ice front has retreated, especially from 2003 and until now, so it is not floating on water, but is situated on the rocks in the bottom of the fjord. The reason for the retreat is not simple, but one of the reasons is the warm water from the Gulf Stream, which we have here, and uh, this branch here, uh, which is called the Eminger Current. It flows up here and dives south of Greenland to a greater depth when it flows north and enters the Eruset ice. Naturally, this warm water melts the ice and retreats the ice front. Also, the normal cold Arctic water has increased in its temperature and will threaten the ice. Finally, the general high temperatures are melting the surface of the ice. The meltwater finds its way to the bottom of the ice and here acts as oil between the surface and the ice, which makes the glacier to move faster. All these factors will probably change the area around Ilulisat, but there are many efforts trying to preserve the habitat. A new facility will be built in the next years where scientists can study this valuable site on UNESCO's list. As you have just seen, climate change will increasingly affect our day-to-day -day weather. But we don't have to wait until 2050 to witness its impact. Already today, many parts of the world are experiencing more intense rainfall, floods, storms, heat waves, droughts. We need to minimize these negative impacts, and the best way to do that is to rapidly and significantly reduce our emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. We have the power and the responsibility to create a better future for ourselves and for those to come. But we need action at least at two levels. We need a new robust global climate change agreement and we need local policy that points us toward green growth and action by investors, industry, cities and regions. Then we can arrive at a stable climate neutral future. Let's work together to make our societies safer and more resilient. Please join me in taking action on climate change. Thank you.